Want to keep safe while beekeeping? Welcome to Lifestyle Stalkers. In this video you will learn more about beekeeping suits. When you decide to take up beekeeping as a hobby, it is essential in beekeeping to get proper safety equipment. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you won't miss any of our lifestyle videos. Bees have a first line of defense, which is to sting. Even though beekeepers are equipped with the knowledge on bee behaviors, they still need to wear protective clothing. Being stung by bees can be fatal to those who are allergic to them. Many people are allergic, but some people do not find out that they are allergic until the first time they get stung. Once you have decided to work with bees, you must find out whether you have allergies to stings or not. Beekeepers even get stung even if they have years of experience. It is even believed by some that the body will respond with less irritation as you receive more bee stings in the future. With more bee stings, beekeepers produce more antibodies resistant to the bee venom. Beekeepers believe that they must get stung during the season to develop immunity. Beekeepers wear gloves with a hooded suit or a hat and a veil to minimize the number of bee stings they may receive. Some beekeepers with years of experience on them, however, opt not to wear gloves. The gloves can sometimes be troublesome when doing delicate tasks while working with bees. Bee stings on the hand can easily be rid off by scraping with a fingernail. This will reduce the amount of injected venom. The face and the neck are the most important body parts that beekeepers must protect. Bees defending their hives are most likely to be attracted by a person's breath. A bee sting in the face can cause more pain and swelling compared to other parts of the body. It is also far more difficult to remove a bee sting in the face without the aid of a mirror. A proper approach to the bees must be learned. A beekeeper must know how to approach bees calmly. This is so he can avoid being swarmed by an aggressive group of bees that would most likely target his face. Full-length jumpsuits are worn by beekeepers. Typically, a beekeeping suit is light-colored and are made from smooth material. Typically, they are white jumpsuits worn while tending to the bees. The color worn by beekeepers differentiates them from the usually dark-colored natural predators of bee colonies like the bears and skunks. The suit can also be easily tugged when removing bee stings and venom sacs. The bee sting venom is prevented from penetrating the body by the beekeeping suit. There is a need to wash the suit regularly after usage since the bee stings left in the suit will continuously produce alarm pheromones. This alarm pheromone will attract aggressive action and stimulate bee attacks. The hands may also be washed with vinegar to prevent the bees from being attracted to it. 3 Tips for Safety Equipment 1. Safety Equipment for Beekeepers Again, Beekeepers have to wear suits that cover them and protect them completely from head to toe and that cannot be punctured by the bees, and through which the bees cannot sting them. Check out our video description to see the most recommended beekeeping suits. To protect their face, they have a mesh screen and also use smokers to calm down bees that have become very agitated. The smoker calms down the bees while the beekeeper gets the honey out of the hive. They also have to check that the bees are in their hives getting on with the honey-making procedure and the only way they can do all of this is if the bees are calm. Beekeepers also have a crowbar to scrape the honey out which can be quite difficult to remove. The beehives are usually placed in secluded areas so that the bees do not become a menace to those who are moving around in that area. This is also to ensure hat the bees are not disturbed by too much of noise and human traffic which will antagonize them and make them swarm. 2. Beekeepers get their tools on the internet. Most beekeepers prefer to get their beekeeping equipment on the internet as this way they can access hundreds of different companies and get exactly what they want. The need among other things, tools for grafting the comb apart for scraping up the honey, comb cutters, special cages for capturing the queen bee, and many other things like containers for the honey. Honey is the favorite food of grizzly bears and beekeepers have to safeguard their bees from pests which could eat them up. Bees also have to have particular kinds of feeds which keep them healthy. Beehives also have to have treatment against invasion from flies and moths which carry infection and diseases from compost and animal manure to the hives. 
Check out our video description to see the most recommended feeds for bees. 3. Expenses incurred by the beekeepers. The body suits that the beekeepers wear is fairly cheap, and do not dent the finances of the beekeeper, but what is an expense is keeping the hive safe from pests. This is not an easy task as the hives are situated in places like dense forests where there are many pests and birds to disturb the hives. So, the beekeepers have to keep abreast of the new techniques to maintain their beehives in a healthy manner and safeguard them against pests. Want more tips on beekeeping suits and beekeeping equipment? Check out our recent clip as well here in Lifestyle Stalkers. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.